Good evening. Thank you for joining us. A family is speaking out tonight after a bus driver told a 12 year old student who is speaking English to speak French. It happened when the driver was taking several children who are neurodiverse to school. Olivia O'Malley has the story. When Amanda Mullen listened to this recording from her daughter on Friday, she was furious. I had listened to the message, but I didn't even get to the whole message. And I was already fuming. Mullen's daughter, Madison Schmidt, lives with autism and ADHD. She goes to REACH, the only English language public school for children with special needs on the South Shore. On Friday morning, Schmidt says her bus driver was telling the children to speak French. It made me feel like, um, like I wasn't allowed to speak English. I really didn't feel comfortable in that in that situation. So the 12 year old started recording what the driver was saying. You don't respect me when you don't want to talk to my, in my, in my language. You're living in a country who everybody is speaking French. And you don't want to speak French? It's uh, something wrong. The bus driver is employed by Excel. Riverside School Board hired the company to transport neurodiverse students from REACH and other schools. In a statement emailed to CTV News, the school board says, As soon as we found out, we contacted the transporter. Excel took the matter very seriously. They contacted the family rapidly to let them know that they would address the matter with the bus driver immediately. I asked the person from transport who contacted me, do I need to show the bus driver my daughter's and my eligibility certificate? for English to them. And she's like, no, ma'am, I don't think we need to go that far. This did not reassure Mullen, especially after the driver went on to say he will stop speaking to the students in English. I will never speak to you in English. I stop. Mullen posted the audio on Facebook to make sure other parents are aware of the situation. She says both Reach and Excel have asked her to take the post down. I didn't throw anybody underneath the bus. I just wanted to, wanted my child to know that she has a right to speak English. In a statement, Excel says the driver's basic intention was a good one, and it was to respect the mother tongue of each person in whichever language they choose. Meantime, if the same driver picks up Schmidt on Monday, she says she will continue to stick up for English-speaking students. I'm very proud of you, Madison. Olivia O'Malley, CTV.